Hi, welcome back to Garden of the Moors. Today I'm going to show you how I grow leeks all the way from sowing the seeds up to harvesting the actual vegetables. So let's go take a look. So I like to start sowing my leeks in around February kind of time. Uh, some people say it's best to sow them in March. I find that there's so much to sow in March that I like to give mine a bit of a head start and I sow them in February. I've had no problems whatsoever. And actually the back of my seed packet also says to sow them in January or February time. Uh, so I don't have any problems there. I grow a variety called Musselbra. Um, which gives us brilliant leeks every single year we've grown them. Um, can't fault them one bit. Uh, yeah, they're just excellent to grow. So the first thing we need to do is fill up our seed tray with some peat-free compost. Just any peat-free compost will do, just multi-purpose. And the other important thing is to make sure that we write a label. So, because once the compost goes on top, we're going to have absolutely no idea what these are. There we go. Leaks. I'll pop that in the top of the seed tray. And then all I'm going to do is broadcast sow them onto the compost there. There's loads in here. There's uh, how many seeds have we got? About average of 500 seeds in here. So we've got loads. These are actually some that I bought last year. Uh, because I didn't need to, I, I mean, there's absolutely no way that I could fit 500 leeks in my garden. So I don't need so many as that. Uh, so I keep them for the next year. These are the seeds. They look like um, onion seeds because obviously it's the same family. So they're little black, quite hard seeds. And all I'm going to do is just sprinkle them like I'd sprinkle salt and pepper onto my dinner. All over the shop. Simple as that. Now I don't, I didn't need all of them, so I'm going to put these back in, and then either if these fail, I can. I've got more to sew again in a couple of weeks. I've got plenty of time yet, and otherwise. I'll still have some seeds for next year. So that means I'll get three years worth out of these, which would be brilliant. Okay, so now that my seeds are in the tray, I'm just gonna sprinkle over, just very lightly, some extra compost, just on top, to cover the seeds and make sure that they're nice and warm and protected from the elements. Don't need too much, you don't need to be buried alive, just enough really to cover the seeds. Great, and then I'll just firm that down to make sure that the seeds are getting plenty of contact with the compost and that there are no air gaps because the roots can't really do much with great air gaps. They don't want it to be like a brick but they also want to be able to make contact so that's great i'll water that in water those seeds in now and then once they are about i'd say about 10 centimeters tall i'm gonna pot them on into individual little pots so they can carry on growing and then once they're about 20 centimeters tall we'll plant them out into the ground to grow and then uh, they'll be ready to harvest next uh, end of autumn into winter sort of time. Right, so the potatoes are out. I've just gone through a quick weed um, for any uh, weeds that I missed whilst they were growing and I'm now can put our leeks in. These could have gone in, well they've been wanting to grow in for a little while, they're quite tall now. They'll be absolutely fine, they'll um, be no worse off for it. 
so what I need to do is go off my carrot line and I want to be about 30 centimeters away from that so I've got my measuring stick here which is 30 centimeters and I'll just pop that in just there and then do the same from the other side these will hopefully be ready around November time I'm hoping So I had them in a big seed tray. When they outgrew that, I put them into these different modules. And so what I need to do now is just push at the base, try and gently tease it up. I want as much root as possible. Some people will cut the roots. I don't like to do that because um, I found it, it wasn't um, helping the leeks. They were ending up drying out and things like that. So I don't do it, so what I'll do is just find a nice spot and I want to basically bury the leek because that will then give us that nice white stem as much as I can and tuck him in get rid of that and I'll just carry on down the that's an old sea potato there we just pulled out and carry on down the line and they just need to be 10 centimeters apart which luckily my little uh, spade thingy here has a measure for. You plant leeks out when they're about 20 centimetres tall, ideally. These are more like 30 now. But like I said, they won't be any worse for it. But yeah, this is a lovely, lovely little leek. I said, I've lost them to dry out before, so I will make sure I give them really good watering. But other than that, they shouldn't really need too much help, all being well. I'm just trying to part the soil, is what I'm trying to do. So yeah, just go on like that and put in as many as I possibly can. So given a few months, in about autumn and into winter sort of time, the leeks would have swollen up if they've got enough, had enough rain and water and things and enough light. They'll have swollen up and their stems will be nice and thick now, ready to harvest. All we need to do is just go through and dig up the ones that we want to eat and the rest can just stay out in the ground. They're completely hardy. So these, these leeks in front of me here have actually been snowed on, iced right up properly and they're absolutely fine still. So nothing to worry about there. Right, let's go dig him up and see what we got. So what I'm looking for is the ones with the thickest stems because they'll have grown nicely. I try and go right down with a fork to lift it up to protect the stem as much as possible. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I'll just take off that one. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> Beautiful leeks. Right, that's one. Lovely. Very happy with that one.
Well, there we have it. Some beautiful, can't get fresher than that, homegrown leeks. Very happy with those, and that's how we grow them. There we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers. Cheers.